Have a night, I too. Have a night. Yeah, man, of course, it's Baba Day again, you know. By the grace of the Almighty, we have to give thanks. We are full of thanks for life. Bless up to all the eye scribers, you know. I'm, I'm full of thanks to anybody tuning in and charging in to get the energy and the codes from the highest eye. You know what I mean? Today's video, I want to talk to all of the eyes that can see. All of I and I that have vision. We are done with any environment that is not native to us genetically. Big up Dr. Sebi. Big up Baba Sebi. Dr. Sebi said we need to come out of America. Not just go buy herbs in America that's coming from closer to the equator. We need to live not just in the tropics. We need to live in Africa. If your skin is brown to dark brown, I don't care if you are red bone and you light skin, I don't care if you black as the night sky. You have you melanin. Africa has our food. Africa has the proper UV radiation. It's not just about latitude. We have to consider longitude. There's a full spectrum. It's not just about north and south, east and west. You cite what I'm saying? I've made these videos over and over and over and it's drawn to a point where Nkosi Baba will not be accessible. I'm already hard to access. Link me. We need to link now more than ever. We need to get together. We're done with the system. The system has crashed. It's failed. I cannot do this all by myself. Neither can you. One can go fast alone, but we go far and we stand the test of time together. That's an African proverb. Say, hey man, come on, man. You see the thing nice and proper, fresh air. They have the right air, the right oxygen for I and I. Because we are closer to not just the equator, but even the meridian. There's a prime meridian that runs through Africa. Africa is the center of the planet. So-called Africa, the God tenant, the pro tenant, because we are pro tenants on this land that we occupy, that the highest eye has gifted us with. I'm not promoting Pan-Africanism. This is the New Earth Order, Seagold Order. Rastafari, big up all of my Rasta brethren, big up all the real Hebrew Israelites, the eyes that can really sight, the real Moabites, the real Moors that know that Africa is the root of humanity. Yes, we know we were in the States or in Mexico, the, the Mayans, the Aztecs, the, the, all these different native entities, right? Though, in reality, all of these different groups of persons still had to trot through Africa. If you disrespect the roots, how will you then deserve the fruits of life? If you don't preserve the roots, you do not, de you do not deserve a f not even the seed, let alone the fruit. I'm going to repeat that. Only ones that preserve the roots deserves the fruits of life. Eternal life, salvation. Life is for the taking. The highest eye has blessed us to even rise up today with the sun. We should not take this moment for granted. Get out of the system. It's done. The food is fake. If the food is fake, what are the people? Some are going to argue and say, oh, the food of Africa is fake too, no? The African food is closer to reality than the food that's in the United States and that's in the United Dumb Kings. I mean, United Kingdom. There's no such thing as United States. It's a divided state of mind. It's full of division. There's no life. I keep shouting from the mountain. I'm shouting, I'm giving you the, it's not even me. The earth is speaking to you. God is speaking to you. Don't worry about the messenger. I don't need you to worship me and look at me and put me on some pedestal. I'm nothing, especially without you. We are stronger together. Do give me my flowers and give me a little respect and love and cherish me and protect me so that these agents can't kill me. We can't let them kill our prophets anymore. It's the end of time. The world ended 2012 Ethiopian calendar. Now we're just seeing the remnant or the, the, the earth. How do I say this? 
in the simplest manner. The world ended, as I've said for years now, for like since the fake pandemic started, the world ended. Though we're seeing like the last breath is gasping for air. That's why it looks like, oh, wait, how did the world end? But I'm still swiping a debit card. I'm still using money. Fuck money. Let's use the money to have resources because resources is what's going to sustain us when there's no more money. Yes, we're using money. But we need to use money as a community. What they would call in Babylon and they try to speak against it. They say, oh, no, you black people that's living in the West, y'all can't create community or have tribes. If y'all do that, y'all are a cult. That's group think. These things are bad. No, they want you to group think with the way the system think. But then they would tell you, oh, stay away from the Kosi Baba. This guy's crazy. This guy has a God complex. Wait, aren't we supposed to have a God complex to be as godly as we can? That doesn't mean the Kosi Baba doesn't have flaws. I'm growing right in front of you. And I've documented it as if I'm in the movie Avatar. I've, it's like I logged into the universe. I picked up these Babylon alien devices. And I literally documented how I made it out of hell into heaven. I made it into Zion spiritually and we're fulfilling it on earth as it is in heaven. There's no way you can build a home from the roof down. The foundation of I and I is what the world labeled as Africa. This is the foundation. It's the roots. Now, let me be clear, because I don't want no one taking this as, oh, he's, he's, he's begging people to come to Africa. He, he's desperate for company. Don't get it twisted. The community growing. We over 10 members on the ground. And we'll, through children, we're going to expand to have up to 30 to 50 members. This message is not for persons necessarily to just come to me. Not everybody's even fit to come around me. Not everybody will resonate with me. But this is for the souls that maybe y'all can go uh, make another not to copy me, but to make another community, another uh, group, to start grouping up and creating your tribe in Africa, not in Jamaica. I'm not limited to this idea, oh, I'm a Jamaican, yeah, man. Big up to the fact that the truth came to Jamaica in the West way before it came to anywhere else. Jamaicans influenced the whole world. That's why everybody has dreadlocks. That's why people are using marijuana. That's how hip hop was created, created from Jamaicans. Cool Herc. New York City, the Bronx. But I'm not attached to this idea of a Jamaican. I'm not attached to being an Afro-Jamaican. I'm not even attached to so-called being an African. Though this land that they call Africa, this is my environment as a species. We are not supposed to be on this planet and be aliens. Most of us are living as literal aliens alien invasive species in artificial environments living an artificial life the shelter is fake the food is fake the people are fake the education is fake Haile Selassie big up his majesty he said education is the key he's not talking about the education they teach you in the school shits them that's not education that's artificial information to create slaves to propagate the illusion Yo, I'm full of thanks for life, man. I'm running on fresh air. I'm powered right now by the sun, just charging. Barefoot, grounded to the universe. I'm running on sea moss. Fresh watermelon, fresh fruits. Fresh air. I'm growing my seeds, I'm growing my children. I'm healing myself. Charging, connected to the planet. I and I are strong together, man. This is not a, 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 a desperation call. My family's stronger, we getting stronger. This is a, a call of urgency. It's a call, a call to prayer, as the Muslims, I mean the Muslims, uh, the Muslims, the, when they start, they, Allah Akbar. I'm putting out a, a, a code and, and word sound vibration that's just gonna bring souls that need to just hear the reminder. Oh, it's time, oh, okay. The horns have blown already. These are the final little vibrations, the last call. As y'all know, I'm getting off the internet. I'm reaching that point, though, in these last couple moments of me still being here, 
I'm going to keep on chanting, keep on giving the spirit. Because the spirit does it, I don't own it. The spirit is coming to many people. It owns us. It's God. Don't get caught by the illusion of who's on the camera. Jah is literally in front of you through spirit. We need the food that the earth in so-called Africa produces because it will register biochemically. The mangoes and the oranges in the states that they're importing from Mexico and Costa Rica and all this shit, it's hybrid foods. It's grafted, it's clones. They're, you think there's just cloning facilities for humans in the States? There's cloning facilities for the same food because they need to keep cloning people and making clones, feeding them clone food. Because then you can control the people more when they're already controlled genetically. If we eat wild food that the earth offers us, baobab, monkey oranges, wild desert dates, wild berries, Bushman peanuts, wild cucumbers, wild watermelon. Now we're wild, we're harder to control. We're like the wild animal. We can't be civilized. That whole idea of civilized is fake. The only civil humans on the planet are the ones that know how to live with the creation, the so-called creation. They, the humans that know how to live on earth sustainably and not destructively and toxically, those humans are the most civil. Go Google what the heck civil means. Because the system, what they call civilization, that shit ain't civil. Nigga, humans are more dangerous than a wild lion. I don't want to be around you niggas. I don't want to be around any of y'all agents. These, they censor me. They're watching me. Look, man, y'all protect me. Y'all protect yourself. Stay guarded up. This shit is getting ugly and it's going to get worse before it get better. This is not fear mongering to the people that try to message me and say, why you promoting fear this, that? Why do you attract that? I don't attract no. I'm living clean and pure. My life is smooth. I'm not complaining about nothing. I'm putting the word sound out in the frequency into the universe that promotes more protection, more life, more community. This is not fear. It's a sense of urgency because you're out of time. Time is up. So let's keep on growing forward, yo. We're about the time is done, man. It's finished. When you're building a home, you have to build it from the foundation up. The United States is not the foundation of life. This is not from scientists. I'm not saying, oh, Africa, because the scientist says, oh, no. It's reality. I feel it. Standing on the ground, breathing the air, eating the natural food, not just the farm shit. The mangoes, the oranges, the apples, the bananas. The real food that just grows. The amaranth. The millet. Dr. Sebi wasn't wrong. Dr. Layla, Africa wasn't wrong. The issue is we need to stop trying to be doctors, though. We need to learn to be humans. We need to start being human. And our humanity will express God on Earth. And I'm going to finalize the video there. I'm full of thanks to all the eyes that cite this. Share this with who you know it will be of benefit to. I don't need to put messages out really for people that's trying to argue. I'm not arguing. I know what I'm saying. I'm not debating with people. Um, it is what it is, man. Those that can see will be shown more. Those that can hear will be told more. See, go order. I ain't. I, bye, bye. I love God myself. I bye.